It's a huge pleasure this evening to be joined by one of the most distinctive and I think recognisable voices in Irish music over the last 20 years, will we say, Jack? 30? <laughs> 20, <laughs> we'll leave it at 20. Mr. Jack Lukeman joining us here at Winter Songs at Cypress Avenue. Um, Jack's had a very, uh, like a lot of us working in the music industry, uh, unusual time over the last few months, but he's spent it wisely, he's, he's spent it very well, and he's reached something like a quarter of a million people uh, in various countries across the world through his live streams that he's been doing most weekends. Um, he's also managed to put a record out in this time as well, which is no mean feat. And he's come down to join us today in Circus Avenue. Jack, yeah, you? good, good Jay. Yeah, it's been an oddly busy period, you know. I, I suppose the inst instinct is always just to keep going and see what... Uh, I mean, the first week, maybe I sat around pondering the universe and like the rest what was of us, going on. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I just started doing the, the live streams, which I hadn't done before. Um, I hadn't kind of delved into it. It was odd in the beginning because obviously you have, there's no audience reaction in you. I've been mostly on my own doing them as well. So yeah. there's, uh, but when I, initially, afterwards when you read the comments and you, and you see the vast array of people from all over different countries and yeah. it's quite amazing. So that was, you know, pretty, pretty moving. I have to say when I saw in that initial period where everything was a bit weird and nobody knew what was going on, yeah. it was a bit apocalyptic. apocalyptic. Yeah. Um, you were saying as well like a, uh, um, that it kind of kept you focused at a time. I yeah. mean, even having to, to, like, fair play to you, you're just this encyclopedia of songs at this stage and you're learning new ones all the time. But even knowing that you had a performance mm. coming up at the weekend, yeah. whether, you know, whether it was 10 or whether it was 20,000 people, you can never tell, but yeah. still you're going to be in front of people. So, Doing you know, a, it kind of hones you, you've got to be in yeah, the, well, in it was the a, zone it was, a little bit. It was a brand new show each weekend, pretty much so. So that was a task. But uh, yeah, mm. after the first couple, I was doing my own stuff. And then I said, right, it's an opportunity to do a Leonard Cohen night or a Bob Dylan night or a David Bowie. We did the Beatles versus the Stones. We did an 80s night. Uh, who else? Uh, Americana, and I, all these kind of things. Yeah. So yeah, it was great because I would spend the whole week cramming for an exam. Yeah. Um, but after, but after about eight weeks, the 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 brain couldn't take anymore. Right. Okay. <laughs> so then I said, I'll make an album of this. So I recorded the best of. I did a live stream of the best of all the different nights that we did. Yeah. And the audience got to kind of choose their favorite uh, songs. You know, yeah. Of the different artists and. So I took about a, probably in the summer, a, maybe a month and a half or maybe more, maybe two months to make the album. And I did find when I hadn't got that destination at the end of every week that, I, you know, I think that's the, whole, the main problem with the whole pandemic is people haven't had a, fo a point each week. The weekend wasn't there because you couldn't, yeah. you know, so yeah, yeah. when I, and I saw when I had that there, that it was some kind of structure. Yeah. I think structure maybe is what we're lacking a little bit. But... In the music business, you're used to a bit of unstructured yeah, carry on a little in bit. In some way, but then in other ways, you are kind of institutionalized. You get to get there, do the sound check. Yeah, the gig yeah. is this long. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that, but anyway, I managed to get an album out of it, so that was good. Uh, I mean, I was doing an original album before this started, but then when I started doing all the other artists, yeah, I, it just made. I was just rolling with riding the wave, yeah. basically. Yeah. And I like it over the years as well. I mean, you know, I, I played actually on the, the radio show a few weeks back the Aztec camera cover that you do. Oh. Uh, during sound check here, was very fortunate to catch. Uh, do you realise by Flaming Lips? Oh as well. yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, you've, you've always kind of put your own stamp on a song that you've you've covered as well. And I don't think you've seen the point in trying to r record or reproduce something like as too faithfully to the original. Mm. I mean, is, is that a hard process to do, to, to, to hear something in a song that will take you in a different direction on it as well? Or Yeah, you kind of try to pick the ones that you could, you feel you're bringing something a little bit different to it. I mean, uh, the one, uh, the Aztec Camera song, Somewhere in My Heart, that was, that was the 80s night I did online. And yeah. it was kind of last minute I kind of threw it in. I always loved that song. It's a great song. Yeah. yeah. And so I just threw it in. And then it was kind of the standout one of the night. So, yeah. and so obviously it kind of had something. And people love hearing it that way because they, you know, it's, cause it's all about the melody, that song. It's just such a beautiful melody. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I kind of hit, you know, if I think I can add something to a song, I mean, some of them I do pretty straight, yeah. straight up. But I suppose my voice lends something to, to it sometimes uh, depending on what 
you know, I can sing in a variety of keys and I've got yeah. about four or more octaves so I can do yeah. different things with songs and but if, I, if I'm into it I'm into it and yeah. some songs you do and then you go mm, I can't I don't really think that's doesn't do yeah 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 it was part of the problem of doing say an 80s night on the live stream was rather than doing an individual artist was that you were dealing with a whole decade of songs so I would learn too many songs basically right. so by the time i hit the live stream i was actually hoarse i could hardly see right <laughs> whereas if you're doing one artist you just have their songs in but yeah, range, yeah so it was a learning curve in that respect yeah. as well as regards energies fair play yeah uh, coming back to the voice actually um i i spoke to you years back now um i think it was in the lobby believe it or not the oh, lobby yeah. bar and yeah, yeah. you were telling me about and it's something that i did myself actually was busking back mm. in the day and, yeah. and I actually bust in Holland as well which yeah, I think yeah. is where you said you, yeah, you yeah, did yeah, a summer yeah. of it yeah. um, and I, would you say like that, like I know what it's like busking and you've got to kind of project and you're trying to you know reach a crowd without a microphone mm. I think people busking with mics is cheating by the way but anyway yeah, I, I can yeah. see I can see why it's necessary but you know as, as a singer would that have kind of helped you like I know you've got to sing a lot of people's you know a lot of different songs from different artists as well but even the kind of way you have to sing and the way you project I mean, was the busking a help, I suppose, to the career? And yeah, the I would imagine. And singing? It, it gave me, it, it, the one thing the busking did was uh, made me realise I could actually survive as a musician. You right, know? yeah. It, it, though it's random, you know, at your pen. Uh, but if anything, the, the digit, you're digitally busking online now. That's what, that's what it's, it's like. It's, yeah. It feels very much so like yeah. uh, busking, I have to say, going, doing the stuff online. And you're communicating with the audience in, you know, yeah. in between the songs uh, but yeah busking yeah great for pro projecting your voice um i mean that's you know how all you know say caruso and john mccormack judy garland they would have all come from an era of where there was no amplification so that's why they all had these Big voices, enormous yeah. voices yeah, so it yeah. does it, i mean the voice is a muscle so you know You've you're use you're you're, bu you're building it kind of uh, but yeah definitely busking is a, is a is there's no better training ground i mean it's different now yeah everybody has amps and stuff but yeah we didn't have those yeah um you see people with drum kits on the side yeah of the street, yeah it's like a yeah bands it, kind of migrating out onto the street yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah <laughs> and it's always easier to do a runner when you don't have any pa as well if you're not you're supposed to trying to there. carry the drum kit yeah, <laughs> yeah. but I've, I've done, yeah so it's uh it, it's definitely yeah i would recommend like, it to like, anybody and there was a, a new um it is I mean, a voice that's been around a long time for you, obviously, but in this, in the sense of a recorded voice, um, vocal on the album, which was your dad. Yes, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Who, 81, I believe, is he 81? He was 82, yeah, 82. in December, yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Um, but you managed to duet with him. Yeah. get that down. That must have been, like, after all these years of recording yourself. Uh, yeah, because I had, he, he had a stroke about uh, two years ago, so uh, he lost a little bit of the voice, but he could still, we, could, we still have sing songs. But I had these recordings of him uh, from about four years ago when he was just out in the house one day and I just recorded him singing to a few things. And when I was doing the lockdown album, I kind of rediscovered them on a, a SoundCloud or whatever. Um, and I thought, well, this is a good opportunity to put these on here. And yeah. it being a kind of impromptu album. So it was great yeah, to get him on because he's a fantastic voice and could definitely have made a, 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 you know, a career of it himself. Right. Um, but I come from a, a you know, he, he, he was a mechanic. His, my grandfather was a mechanic. My grandfather before that was you know, like horse and plow mechanic and then steam engine. So right. I come from a long line of mechanics. So right, singing I, mechanics. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I did it in my teens, but I was always mad into the music more than anything else. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, for, I suppose for our viewers this evening, um, if they want to check out the streams, if they want to, I, I presume it's something you'll continue with in, in yeah, 2021. Yeah, or, or as I, long as you have to. Yeah, really. I mean, I, I did a pretty full on the last few months so mm. uh, I don't I don't feel I can do it all the time every weekend so yeah. I'll take little breaks here and there to let give, let the audience do something else for Saturday night and yeah. myself too but mm. I think it's definitely just part of the whole deal now I mean it's I mean it's once we're in lockdowns or whatever it's the only thing to do so uh, yeah. I'll definitely you know I'm just as and I had to get to know the technology so uh, hopefully bringing in people to sing perform with me as we can do that uh, as we go along and uh, just playing with it I suppose but people really like you know what I love about just is the fact that people still 
even in this situation, want to gather somewhere together and experience something in real time, yeah. all together, like yeah. sitting around a campfire. Yeah. Uh, so it's like the digital campfire, you know? So, yeah. And it's funny because people love it in, in real time. Uh, you know, they'll come back and look at it later on, but the, the whole thing is, this is happening. It's life. Yeah, something, yeah. you know, it's not even that something can go, can go wrong. That's why we're watching. It's just that we're all watching together. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, continuing on that tradition of storytelling and music and all that. Fair play. Um, thanks for joining us. Looking forward to hearing the tracks. Yeah. And uh, best of luck in 2021. I did notice it was volume one as well. So That was a cliffhanger we, we, we ending We might there, get a yeah. volume two. It's a cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully I don't have to do volume two. But if I do, I do, you know. Not, yeah. in a, not that I don't want to, but just that we well, get out of this situation. Absolutely. Mm. Jack, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the virtual show. Hope you're all doing well out there. I'm gonna start with this little tune, it's called Magic Days and Magic Ways. And I wish you all a magic new year. Crawl around my hands and knees to pour it out just how I feel. I try to speak, but I can't say a word. I know I'm growing old disgracefully The spotlight's on, it's plain to see you like an angel glowing in the dark So don't stop receiving The signal's loud and clear Just start Everybody knows your name, the good, the true, the beautiful, the vagabonds, the liars, and the thieves. You know you got so many pairs of shoes, but still you don't go anywhere. Just sit around, counting broken dreams. So don't stop receiving. Signals loud and clear Just start believing Just start sun gods out there. You're a sun god, got the universe in your heart. You're the ocean, the sweeping desert. 
This one's called Open Your Borders, which is always topical. You can take it as physical borders or mental borders, borders in your head or your heart. The words of the great Liverpoolian poets. Love is all you need. All you need is love. Exwain of wheat on shop. Smell them faint. Need to find someone to help me clean them up. Time will take its toll on a homeless soul. You become love's refugee. So open your borders. Let me in. Don't want to climb no barbed wire or battlements. Open your borders. Just give the order. Open your borders and let me in. Summer days grow longer, life gets short, hearts start growing cold if you remain alone. You gotta take the chance, you gotta get up and dance. You know the song. So open your borders. Let me in. No need for martyrs or patriots. Open your borders. Just give the order. Open your borders. Ba 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 da ba da ba ba. Just give the order. Open your borders and let me. Here's a tall, short tale for you. This song 
takes place in the mind of a man who is tunneling his way beneath the earth, digging towards the light, escaping from a crime he did not commit. And as he tunnels in the darkness towards the light, he imagines all that'll be when he finally breaks free. In his mind's eye, he can see his lover waiting by the river with the getaway boat. As he digs, he imagines how all his old friends will sing his old nickname again when they find out he's released. And as he's digging, he can hear them singing. So Sounds here. The future looks bright. Yeah, the course seems clear. Aren't I coming yet? Ten long years, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I hear singing. I'm the king of Soho. Everybody knows I'm the king of Soho. I'm coming, hey, listen to me I got friends everywhere from the streets of Malacca down at Camden Street, yeah They see me coming, crown on my head Step through my hair, still smoking, still cut red So, ho! Oh. Everybody knows I'm the king of so To the river, get to the river. I'm gonna be a rich, rich man when I get to the river. When I get to that river, I'll marry my queen of Africa, queen of Africa, queen of Africa. Trying to frame me, those lawyers and judges, but I swore on the Bible and all those videos. The ladies love me, the gentlemen too. Keep your hands in your pockets, for you could help the king of Soho.
So here's the one that's the last track on the uh, Magic Days album. It's called Till I Saw You, and uh, it's about a time traveler who eventually decides to settle down. The Sphinx right in the eye Just to think of you Need Sahara Skies all Asia blue Thought I'd seen it all Till I saw you Thought I'd seen it all Till I saw you All the wars that were lost At a priceless cost I thought I found it all But I found nothing at all Till I saw you Empires rise and empires burn Another day the wheel it turns Silly oceans, red and blue Gobi Desert, Atlas Mountains So all days you fool Thought I'd see Till I saw you Thought I'd seen it all Till I saw you All the wars that were lost 
at a priceless cost Thought I found it all But I found nothing at all Till I saw you Picture the Mars rover took of the sunset on Mars, which is blue, just like Star Trek. So I thought it was worth a song, for good or bad. And as I was writing the song, suddenly a band of angels appeared before me. They were singing the most beautiful refrain I've ever. singing
Well, good luck to you all, my friends. In the new year, may it be your finest as we all go deeper and the rabbit hole. So say hello, all the social media and all that stuff. JackLukeman.com for the uh, CDs and downloads, etc. Deeper down we go, deeper down. Rabbit hole.